Good day, everybody, and welcome to day four of Ready's experiment, 72 hours later. It's our final day of observations, so please make sure you have your observation sheet to record your observations and draw your pictures. So here are our three jars. You can see that we've had some big changes in the last 24 hours. We're going to look here at the open jar first, where we can see that there are many tiny worms. These are maggots. The meat has turned a dark brown color, almost looking cooked due to the oxidation from sitting out. If we look here on the side, you can see how extensive the number of maggots are in this jar. The smell from this jar is rank or putrid. A very nasty smell. Um, you really want to hold your breath around it. Um, you don't want to breathe. Um, the jar on uh, the meat looks very, very dry, um, but it's not something you would want to stick your finger in just to find out. Our second jar is the cheesecloth covered jar. You can see here on the top there is a fly sitting in this picture. The cheesecloth has really discolored to a yellowish color. There is some debris sitting on top of the jar. Here from the side, you can see that again, there are many flies buzzing around during this time. Four flies are sitting on the top here. Inside, it's a little harder to see. The meat has turned a darker red or brown color. Uh, but still looks moist, not dried out. There are some maggot worms inside this jar, uh, which are difficult to see. These maggot worms are much larger than the ones found in the open jar, um, but they are much fewer in number, whereas the one jar looks to have hundreds of maggots. This one has maybe 50 or so worms in it. Our final jar today here is the closed jar. Again, does not look to have much changes. Um, some debris just from sitting out in the weather, but no discernible differences. Here along the side, uh, the meat looks to be very moist. Um, if you were to shake it, you could really hear the liquid inside. There appear to be no maggots or other things growing inside. Um, the meat is still, um, it's color that it started out as, it's perhaps a little darker of a pink color but it hasn't turned the dark red or brown color as the other two jars have. In terms of smell, um, I did open this jar, which I would view as a massive mistake. Um, in terms of smell, this was by far the worst smell out of all three of them. Um, very, very putrid. Um, the jar really sealed in those smells and um, since they could not escape out, um, really compounded the nastiness. So that is all today for our video. Please make sure again that you've recorded all your observations and then you can go ahead and answer the questions and have your lab turned in by tomorrow evening.